Hello, welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin, and today's video is on Meptid. So Meptid tablets and injection contain the active ingredient Meptazanol, which is a type of medicine called an opioid analgesic or painkiller. It's related to Meptid. Meptid tablets are used for the short-term relief of moderate pain, while Meptid injection is used for the treatment of moderate to severe pain, such as pain during childbirth and pain following certain surgeries. So Meptid is an analgesic opioid, meaning that it's a painkiller that acts on the opioid system in the brain. Opioid analgesics work by mimicking the action of compounds found in the brain and spinal cord called endorphins. Endorphins promote pain relief and mental relaxation when released. So, Meptid acts as an endorphin by acting on the sites where these endorphins send nerve messages. This dampens pain signals, relieving pain and increasing relaxation. It's important that you follow your doctor's instructions when taking Meptid. Make sure not to take more than the prescribed dose or to take it for longer than recommended. When stopping treatment, always follow your doctor's instructions. While Meptid should ideally be used during pregnancy, it should be safe to use short term and when considered essential by a doctor. So if you're nursing, it is recommended to bottle feed your baby while undergoing Meptid treatment, as it may pass into breast milk and affect your baby. You shouldn't drive while taking Meptid, as it may be an offence to do so. Meptid can cause side effects such as drowsiness, dizziness and impairing your ability to drive. Don't drink alcohol while taking Meptid either, as this would make you more likely to get side effects like drowsiness, dizziness, confusion and blurred vision. It may also increase your risk of serious side effects such as shallow breathing with risk of stopping breathing and loss of consciousness. Some of the main side effects of Meptid include nausea, vomiting, dizziness and drowsiness. For a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And remember that all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.